Yeah, sure. OF girls, do you intend to have children? Do you justify kids having to go through shame, trauma, and depression because of their mom's greedy ambition? <laughs> You want me to respond to that? Sure, why not? So if I do have kids, it's going to be like, I'm 28 now, probably when I'm 34, 35 at the earliest. By the time they're in school, it's like 15 plus years from now. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it'll be as much of an issue. Plus, the two biggest contributors to childhood success are socioeconomic status and maternal education. And my kid's going to be balling on both fronts. So this is the same argument people used to make 10 years ago as to why gay parents shouldn't be able to adopt kids. They're like, your kids are going to get bullied. And now that's not like even a thing. Look how quickly societal attitudes have shifted on ish on something like that in just such a short period of time. I think it's, that's a little different, though. But people wouldn't have said that ten years ago. Said what? That it, oh, that's different. People hardcore believe that gay. Yeah, but you can't you can't choose to be gay. You can choose to do sex. Ten years work. ago, a lot of people thought you were choosing. That's the thing. Like you, you could choose sure, not to. You could choose don't. not to adopt kids if you're gay, and that was the argument people would make. You guys can be gay. That's fine. But there's no reason to bring a child into this because your child is going to go through all this and trauma and bullying. And now the stats are out that those kids end up doing fine. They're not getting bullied in school because they have two dads or two moms. Yeah, but I, I think it's like it's not a fair comparison. Well, I think society, society's shifting one way in general, maybe not in spaces like this. We are moving t towards being more sex positive, more um, sexually open and free. I think... Martin donated $100. <coughs> Thank you, Brian, Marcus. Brian, when I'm on, invite her back. I'll obliterate her. All right, we can She's arrange using that. a malicious tactic. Citing studies, almost. I'll categorically cite all my studies device free. You and your parents have this in common. Crying yourselves they to love sleep me over tonight. your decisions. <laughs> so I mean, what am I supposed to say to this? Do you intend to have children? Um, I will probably have children someday. And yeah, I think if they're well off economically, I think that's one thing um, that would obviously help them in a lot of ways and also there's a lot of ways that you can actually keep your content like off of the internet these days through lawyers and different like websites to help that so like she's saying I do think that society in general is shifting a lot and I sort of like I mean I know that it will be an issue and I will have to probably figure out how I'm going to navigate that but I think it's not as big as an issue as a lot of people I mean like 15 years it. ago we barely had iPhones who knows 15 years from now there could be deep fake porn of all of us like <laughs> who knows what the world's going to look like 15 years technology wise if I'm still popping 15 years from now I will take that as a win but I guess so with both of your answers you're kind of acknowledging that this might negatively affect your, your child you're, you're saying that oh well this will be in the future I can keep it off like offline to the general public you're saying it's 15 years it, it, you're saying society might change their attitudes but you're also saying that'll be in a long time because you know you're only 28 and you don't want to have kids just yet so is it fair to say that you are acknowledging that there there is a way that this could... Of course. But I mean, like, for instance, I grew up Persian and a lot of the kids in my school were white and kids used to make fun of me for having Persian food. Like, what were my parents supposed to say? Like, oh, OK, let's try to have you not be bullied. I don't plan on raising my kids to appease the whims of like the most immature population, which is like school school kids. So, yes, they could get bullied over this. And yes, that is. I'm not saying this isn't a possibility. It can't happen. But I think kids can get bullied almost over everything. I mean, you're a conservative political pundit. If you go to if your kids go to school and there's some really liberal parents there that are something, your kids are going to get bullied because of what you do, because half of the country at least disagrees with you. So there's a big portion of the country that also finds what I do controversial. So. Again, I think it's something that is, is a possibility, but I think there's so many mitigating factors. And I also think a lot of the people that ask that, maybe not this particular commenter, are just, they don't actually care about kids. If you cared about kids, you would go volunteer at a children's hospital. You could do things with kids that actually exist now instead of my hypothetical future potential children. So that's, that's I also don't think it's a question generally asked in good faith, not with you or maybe this commenter, but in general. All right, and I guess the, the reason why I ask this is because I, I, I'm a mom, mm -hmm. I have a kid, and obviously, like you said, kids are gonna be bullied, I plan on homeschool, so hopefully that mitigates some things but do you think that as mothers or potential mothers that you have a responsibility to I guess behave in such a way where your child would be proud of you and I'm not saying that you know maybe you're you're gonna raise your kid in a way that having an OnlyFans mom is something that they're proud of mm -hmm. but how do you how do you plan on navigating that like do you do you want your kid to be aware from a young age that you did only fans would you be upset if you have a daughter and she does only fans like how how are your feelings with only fans kind of related yeah. to so your so those are two plans? questions i think just like there's a sex appro uh, an appropriate way to talk to children about
education, I think there's also an age appropriate way to talk to children about sex work, depending on the age and all that. Now, would I care if my daughter did this? Um, my only goal for my children is to be happy and healthy and kind people. So I have no intention of bringing children to the world so I can be proud of them or that they can align with me and do everything I want. People who have children to make them an extension of themselves shouldn't have children. So again, if this is what my daughter does and she's happy and she's healthy and she's safe, go for it. If she wants to be a waitress, go for it. If she wants to be a neurosurgeon, go for it. So yeah, that's me. So do you not see any, and it's like with your, with your parents, I'm so glad that you, you say that you're, you have a good relationship because I think if, if any displeasure they voice with you, it's because they love you. I mean, yeah, I don't, it course. sounds like you guys have a great relationship, yes. but I'm happy about that. Do you, can you understand why a parent could love their child and not want them to just be an extension of themselves, but still not want them to do OnlyFans? I can totally see it because they see it. Like my mom also thought tampons are only for virgins. Like she grew up, she was married a virgin. She's only ever been with my dad. So it's really hard for them to break away from these values. So they think that what I'm doing is unhealthy, but that may not necessarily be true. So again, my goal for my child is not them doing what I think is healthy or what I think is great or what aligns with my values. It's just that they're overall happy, healthy kids. I can tell you in the Persian community, it's such a thing that parents just go to like like these parties and they're like, my son has PhD, my son, like is at Stanford. And like, it's like, are your kids happy though? Because a lot of times they're not. You have no idea how many messages I get from children of immigrant families who are like, I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to do this. But your story actually inspired me to be honest with my parents about that. It doesn't mean they have to go into sex work. It just means to live a life conducive to their own happiness. And that's all I would want for my kids. But, and obviously I'm not advocating, I'm half Chinese, but I, I think you can totally not be a doctor or a lawyer and still do all right in life. But um, can you understand why that, even if you want the, ch the child to be happy and healthy, that may not as a parent mean condoning whatever they want to do at the time? Yeah, that if they're under age, like I, I was 26 when I started my own fans. If my daughter's 16 and she's like, I want to start and yeah, we're going to have a discussion about that because I don't think your, your prefrontal cortex isn't even developed yet. And this has lifelong consequences, which I agreed with you with. But if right. she's 25, 26, and she's like, mom, I want to do this, blah, blah, blah. This is what I think is going to make me happy. Here's how I plan to use the plan. Yeah. So but I, I mean, I guess looking at the rates of women who are only in the sex industry for a short amount of time and then they end up leaving it, which I'm guessing means they weren't really satisfied in it. Otherwise, they would have stayed in for longer. The women who, you know, talk about things like how it's damaged their potential for long term relationships in the future. There was a study. I think it's something like 75 percent of all creators do report that it has negatively impacted their relationships in, in one way or another. Again, 100 is, is not the same as 75. So you can make an argument. It's not everybody. Mm -hmm. But can you see that there are like this isn't just another job right this isn't just like become, becoming a teacher or a politician there are a lot of consequences we're not even talking about religion here mm -hmm. just to their ability to work other jobs in the future have other relationships whatever that this makes it a very big difference a different decision than wanting to go into engineering or which something. is exactly why i would want like i said informed consent from the person which is why i agree that really young girls that may not know about these consequences shouldn't do i think also a lot of people are in the industry and they leave because as you get older you can't it's like it's like being a professional athlete like you only have a short amount of time but nobody tells professional athletes oh why would you want to do that like you can only do it for a short amount of time they say oh that's I think people do people do tell athletes that generally especially like if, oh, if, if okay. they're maybe they do i don't know i've never heard anyone like be like oh my god you're an athlete like what a terrible profession you're only in it for a short amount of time whatever so i don't necessarily think that's the problem but i agree with you that i would want any any woman or any man anyone to do that's doing this work to be aware of those consequences but I'm thinking in the in the position with my child, yes, if they do anything reckless, recklessly that could affect them for the rest of their lives. If my daughter got married at 18, I would lose my mind because that you're so young. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. Any lifelong decision that they make from a young age without full informed consent, I wouldn't be happy about. But it's not the profession of OnlyFans in particular that I have an issue with if they have informed consent about, about it.